okay, so we're going to talk about a guy who's been on the channel quite a few times. and He wouldn't be if he wasn't so crazy. Gazzy Kodzo, he's back. I'm telling you now, be warned. I apologize ahead of time. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Cookie Jar. They're a cannabis accessories company that has containers to keep your stash fresh as well as clearly organized, credit card sized and traditional metal grinders, 100% organic hemp rolling papers, and so much more. If you go to cookiejar.com and use code CRASH15 at checkout, you'll save 15% on your purchase. Hey, that's money you can put towards your munchies. Again, that's code CRASH15 for 15% off your purchase at cookiejar.com. You're a black person in a net white neighborhood and you're acting like white. Don't act like a white person in a white neighborhood. That's right. Excuse me. I'm coming through. <laughs> So yeah, his intro checks the boxes. All of them. Karens. Racists. And loud blaring music. Yeah, somebody's taking some very bad um, film classes. So, that's out of the way, thank God. Land back, everybody, and a club y'all. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a video on him, but wouldn't you know it, since then, he's gone and given himself a military rank. Okay. Makes no sense to me, but sure, whatever. For my Gazi Rebels, I just wanted to make this video before we play the real video, okay? The Easter Resistance, I think that's how you say it. The main event, okay? It is the piece de la resistance. I know I butchered that up a little bit, but it's been a while since I took French. It doesn't mean the main event. It means, one, an outstanding accomplishment. Two, the principal dish of a meal. Or three, a masterpiece. The most memorable... Or three, a masterpiece the most memorable accomplishment of one's career or lifetime, not the main event. And I got that in literally five seconds thanks to Google and Nordnik. I'm not sponsored by them. You'd think someone as smart as him would have been able to do that at least that much. Eh, guess I was wrong. Um, so basically I wanted to make this video to be um, self-critical because I did snap on this Becky. Oh. Self-critical? You, you mean racist, right? Because that's what you are. You're a racist towards white people. We've been over this countless times. Okay, or as we call them in ATL, a buckhead Betty. Okay, so first of all, for those that don't know, ATL, that's Atlanta, Georgia. That's where he's at. But now to the serious question. Do you call all bitchy white women buckhead Bettys? Or is that what you call all white women? I mean, let's be honest. You've used racist terms for white women in the past. As evidenced by videos on my channel. So, legitimate question. But what I needed to do more in this video was to really deepen the political aspects of what was going on here, okay? Because what I needed to let this colonized parasite heifer know was that this train that she was riding on, thinking that she could tell us what the rules were, even though she only rides it when she wants to take a flight out, because that's what Buckhead Bettys do, on the Marta train. The Marta train which breaks down consistently. Wait, you're saying the Marta train's always breaking down? Damn, I didn't realize my cousin was the mechanic. I mean, that would explain why he's always got money to get himself into trouble. 
the Marta train, which is late, the Marta bus that be late, the Marta buses that be breaking down, right? That this Buckhead Betty, that everything that she has in Buckhead and all the wealth that she and her husband accumulate is from the poor working colonized class people having to... Ah, here we are again with all the all white people are colonized with BS. So please explain to us when any white person that is alive today did any colonizing. I know I haven't. Hell, the closest I've come to leaving the country is when I went to Cleveland back in 08. Or to Miami as a baby. So, you continue to use these blanket insults without realizing that none of us have done any of that. Don't get me wrong, as a race, yes we did. But individually, no. And it's not only factually inaccurate to call someone that, it just shows you trying to hide your racism and not doing a good job of it. Ride this martyr train station every god dang day to work and being late because the train is late and being late because the buses is late and getting written up and fired. These dirty trains that never get clean because all the resources that should be going to this public transit to assist my people in their day to day situation actually goes to her Birkin bag while she wants to sit and stop us as poor working class colonized people of Black Hammer going on the trains to give our people free resources. Funds to help and I quote our people now do you mean all residents of atlanta all working class residents or just the black residents because last time i looked the working class was wasn't made up solely of black individuals so you need to be a little more specific just saying try to be helpful for once because we see what's going on in the crisis of imperialism, the crumbling of white power, capitalism, colonialism, America, ka, ka, ah, okay, and we- Okay, so you're talking about crumbling of imperialism and an empire? Let me check my notes, because the last time I checked, America hasn't been part of an empire in the last 140 plus years, you know, with the Declaration of Independence, revolution, all that, so. Yeah. See that our people are being burdened by this disease, so we give the people free KN95 masks. We see our people starving because they are cutting food stamps, because they are cutting unemployment, and we give our people free resources. Okay, this is the part that chat me the wrong way. I'll explain in a minute. Now, by the term our people, do you mean all American people or just black people? Because the last time I checked, it's affecting everyone. The, this virus is affecting everyone, like me, for example, who had it back in February and missed three weeks of work. Or right now, when I haven't been able to see my girlfriend or my son in almost a month. So you best mean all people, because yeah, it's not just one race being affected. But most of all, we give our people political education and a future with revolution and no but Your political education, as you call it? It's nothing better than Republican propaganda. That's all it is, is propaganda, plain and simple. Head Betty and no white power and no sellouts are ever going to stop us from doing that. Now, we all know what he means by sellouts. Any black individual that's capable of free thought and doesn't agree with him. Well, then I know quite a few sellouts then. Simply because they don't follow your footsteps of hatred of white people doesn't make them sellouts. It makes them intelligent human beings capable of free thought and making up their own minds. Just another similarity to the Republican Party that you have. The whole, you're either with us or you're against us mentality. I bet you don't like that observation, do you? Or that comparison. Yeah. But enjoy the main attraction, because she does still go off and drag her. And this is how we need to deal with these colonizers. I just gave her a taste of the future, which is revolution. Land back, touch one, touch all. It's me, the queen of the revolution. Guys, we told you mm, This lighting, darling. Mm.
Okay, so the caption on the screen says she was reporting them for soliciting. Okay. Why don't you show that? Why don't you show anything that leads up to the dragging, as you call it, where it's literally her and her husband sitting there, and you start insulting her to get a reaction so you can put it on YouTube and do exactly what you did. Call it a dragging. Yeah. You've already lost the plot because how many of you were there? None of you recorded the attempted reporting? I don't believe it for one second. Because if you had, that would have been online. But all I see is you being a jackass to a woman who's sitting there. Because, like I said, you didn't show what led up to that. So for all we know, she's just sitting there grumbling because somebody distracted her and she got a word wrong on words with friends or whatever. And you took that opportunity to attack her. So, yeah. If you're gonna say someone tried to do something, you best damn have some evidence. I can tell you right now, so far, you ain't got nothing, bud. So, do better. No, you're not dragging anyone. You're being a jackass by attacking two people just sitting on the train. And you're just being egged on by your morons that believe everything you say because they can't think with the two brain cells they have left. Dragging someone is when you beat them with facts to the point they feel like they've been drug up and down the street. No. You're not dragging anyone. You're just being a b And if that had been somebody younger, there's a good chance you or someone else would have ended up in the hospital or worse. So your best bet, don't do that again. Because you just never know who's going to do what. So she asks if you want her to push the button to call the cops, which you in turn tell her to push all the buttons and then proceed with your minions, your brain damaged, mentally defective, well, two digit, maybe if they're lucky, IQ having minions, proceed to block her from doing just that and set it to metal music to try and make her look like the aggressor. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit that one is kind of funny. The Jim Crow John. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I mean, based on his hair, he may have actually been around during the Jim Crow era. Okay, I gotta 
few things I want to say about this right here. Okay, one. I'm going to be honest. Like I said earlier, if that had been someone younger, that probably would have gone differently. And you probably would have been making an unexpected trip to the hospital. Which, let's be honest, you may have been treated by a white doctor. Which, you, obviously, you wouldn't have liked. But, yeah, you did what you got. But also, the phrase, land back. The heck are you talking about? What land do you want back? Africa? I mean, you can buy a ticket. Go. No one's stopping you. But if you're talking about land here in America, yeah, if anybody's getting land back here, it's the Native Americans, not you. So, yeah, sorry. What do you mean, right side of history and pay reparations? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Why? Why would I pay you for anything? Anyone that pays reparations to you is an idiot. No one alive today has owned slaves. Therefore, they have no reason to pay them. And you've never been a slave. Therefore, you have no reason to be paid. You have never had someone own you legally therefore you have no reason to be paid reparations let's be honest it's one of your ways to make money without having to get an actual job and be a contributing member to society because more often than not your boss would be white and you have a problem with that so no and I love how the video ends begging for reparations and it's not even an official charity or fund it's to his own organization because as we all know reputable 5013c organizations use cash app and venmo and i've said it before and i will say it again if you switch the races and he was a white man saying all this type stuff he would be deplatformed in a heartbeat for being a racist piece of garbage So why does he get to stay and say all this crap? Oh, that's right. Because of his skin color. Yeah. His privilege. He's allowed to say whatever the hell he wants about white people. Yeah, I forgot about that. 